started the stream. Just okay. Our so we're we're good on that front. I'm I'm about ready, about as ready as I'm gonna be. All right. So then I'm gonna do the countdown. Um. So ready. Three, two, one. And welcome everybody to another episode of the No Name Podcast. This is our fifth episode. Uh, if you're an early listener, this would have been our season finale, but we got talk I got talked into changing it so that that will be pushed to some later date. You make it sound like I it's a horrible thing. Changing it. You're just like, <laughs> these guys done talked me into doing this shit again. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Damn it, man. <laughs> well, because they haven't sent for help yet. <laughs> man, they never will. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm tied to a chair. <laughs> oh, he's just yeah. lying, guys. <laughs> Don't make me stab you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm numb to the stabbings. <laughs> Who are you going to listen to? Me or somebody that's crazy, right? Like, come are on, you going to listen to me or somebody that's tied to a chair? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> he's in a chair. How did he get there in the first place? <laughs> like he's in a chair for a specific reason. We're not in chairs for very specific reasons. They overpowered me. I got help. <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of don't hey, save him. You don't want to be saved. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Hashtag, Jesus when you need him? <laughs> Hashtag aim for the legs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Jess, you're our resident uh, guy that tells us what we're going to be doing today, guy. Uh, what are we going to be doing today? <laughs> yes, I'm the guy of the guy of the guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, on tonight's podcast, monsters might be coming out of the closet after smelling all the cheese that Capcom has been making with Monster in the World. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 no, no, don't be that guy. I'm totally being that guy. That is excellent. <laughs> well, this is why I had you want to be the second guy. No. All right. Up to, after that, we're going to talk about Twitch says, keep your shirt on with their new guidelines. And Google's trying to rule our lives even more with video games. Yay. I mean, I don't know about you. I'm not so keen on that. We also talk about the games that we're probably going to be hyped for this month. I know I'm looking forward to a certain one that you might want to look into as well. And finally, Nintendo told the Squid Girl from Splatoon 2 Smash instead of Pass. All right, let's get started, guys. Before we do that, this particular stream's gameplay, I'm going to be on Rainbow Six Siege playing the new Outbreak game mode. It's a, PV, mm -hmm. it's a PvE content that's here for exactly one month after its release. You take a team of three players, you go and you kill zombies. Hey. Wow, zombies, how original. Uh, I mean it's hey, not Nipsey. it's not exactly it's not exactly yeah. zombies per se. They call them roaches, but it does feature numerous members of the Rainbow Six Siege cast. It's awesome if you are used to playing Rainbow Six Siege and you want to take a break from the monotonous PvP headshotting mechanics. All right, that's about nice. it. that's about it. I may be switching games, but for the most part, for the sake of the live stream and for the sake of the podcast, I'm just be I'm just having this in the background for anybody that wants to look at video content while they listen to us talk about things and stuff. Word. So, starting off, Monster Hunter news. Moopsie, want to get us started uh. with the Resident Monster Hunter, like whatever you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the monster hunter lazy guy. Um, okay, so uh, the rumor is, or at least the information that's been data mined, is that there are going to be four monsters announced soon. Uh, one of them already has had his trailer, which is the Devil Joe. Uh, the other one is um, one called uh, if if you've ever fought uh, if you've ever played the game you might have fought the uh, this crazy ass lightning unicorn called the Kirin. Uh, you're going to meet its subspecies, the Orochi Kirin, which is essentially the same kind of horse except purple and an ice type instead of a lightning type. So you know, fun times ahead. Who's that uh, Pokemon? I'm sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's we've sold out. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> I mean, I was I sold out to Nintendo. If you're listening, Nintendo, please buy me. Um, 
I'm still waiting on my checks. No, <laughs> <laughs> Your checks? Uh, then let's see. Uh, then there's also the uh, another subspecies coming out f from the Teostra, which is the Lady Teostra. Um, I don't know much about her. Uh, the Teostra f family line is one that uh, I haven't necessarily fought yet because I started from uh, Try onward. Mm -hmm. Although I did miss generations too. So, and um, then the last one, because I said I played Try, I should have to. I will say that yes, I have fought the fourth rumored monster to appear, which is called the Alatreon, which is a massive dick. And the one I want to come in, because we just need another one, just like Basil, guys, to just ruin our days. <laughs> the Devil Joe, which, I mean, as I already mentioned, he already has his trailer. Mm-hmm. Who was rumored to come out for this patch, but that turned out to be a big fat lie. Hooray! Well, I know mm -hmm. that there is a quest that came out, uh... Like I think there's like a, a high rank quest where we have to collect mushrooms, but uh, the rumor is because I haven't gotten to it, a chance to play it yet. The rumor is that that's actually a misleading quest because it's supposed to be the quest where you actually fight the devil, Joe. No, he's not there. Uh, but people have already tried it. Yeah, they've already tried it. I tried it myself. He's not there. Like the quest is the only thing the quest is good for is to getting the um, the higher tiered monster uh, tracks. Uh, tempered attracts. Uh, I see. Well, I mean, meh, because like the freaking, there's still that one uh, stream that they're doing in Capcom Japan next week, so we might not have to wait that much longer. Hmm. So let me see. Uh, thoughts about uh, the Devil Joe, since that's what you guys have seen so far, while I pull up the uh, pictures of all the monsters. He's a T-Rex pickle, and I like it. <laughs> Indeed. He no, is. I, mean... <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, uh, I was gonna say because he is uh, the grandfather Basil guy, so to speak. Because anytime any experienced monster hunter player has ever played any of the games, the moment they got to high rank, this motherfucker never stopped showing up. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, it is in the shape of a pickle, and mm -hmm. it is also known as the Devourer of Worlds. Mm -hmm. So this motherfucker will eat anything. Anything it sees when it's hungry, it starts drooling his acid spit, and then tries to eat it. <laughs> and I mean literally anything. It will even cannibalize it on itself. Ew. It'll eat its own tail if it looks tasty enough. He actually <laughs> has eaten his own tail. Oh my god. What is with this man? <laughs> it's, I mean, Devourer of Worlds. Yeah, but you'd think a Devourer of Worlds would have a better, I don't know, meal palette other than, oh, I'm just gonna eat my own tail. Uh, I mean, you'd think, but, like, he, he just doesn't care. He's just a glutton. So he's like the bisexual of monsters, okay. Word. For his stomach, yeah. <laughs> no offense he to all of my help, guys. <laughs> no offense to all of my bisexuals out there. It's just that it makes a really good joke. All two of them. <laughs> all two. Mm. Yeah, we could have more. I don't know. I don't know, man. I love everyone. I mean, you know, you know how it is, man. It's twenty yeah. eighteen. Look, we need to stop <laughs> focusing on the hate and start focusing more on the love. I never said, like, I never said burn him or pitchfork him or anything like that. Yeah, but you were thinking, and I felt like I needed to voice that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, uh, no, because I'm distracted with something else right now. Stay in your chair. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, just a couple more nibbles. No. <laughs> <laughs> you had your chance. Uh, What's up? Okay. Um, well, hold on. Mm -hmm. Just let me finish uh, some specific notes. Uh, any other... Uh, well, actually, I'll, I'll say this uh, sort of to keep you guys going. Because um, the other things that it does, it, it also has kind of like a dragon breath, which is kind of like this like black cloud with red lightning con coming out of it. That does it's not got sound that. like dragon's breath. I that, mean, that that's the only way I can call like it because it, <laughs> it gives you like a, a dragon-based debuff. Oh, it gives and, you a dragon... Dra is it dragon light? 
Rock the dragon. Yes. It's something like that, yeah. Okay. And then uh, what else? Uh, the acid spit, which uh, the reason I call it that is because it literally, if he gets you with it, it literally also gives you defense down. Mm, okay. So, mm. so we finally have something for that defense down then. Hmm, nice. About time. I was like, this is useless. <laughs> I never. Well, I never saw a situation. <laughs> I never saw a situation was just like defense down. It was always a particular blight or. A monster telling me to go fuck myself. Also, what's up, yeah. Brody? How you doing, Word. Brody Beans? Welcome to the stream, brother. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the fifth episode okay. of our nice little podcast where we sit down and we talk about gaming stuff. Our plot mm -hmm. cast. Yes, we plot so much. <laughs> now, I'm plotting to get out of this chair. No, it will never happen. But um, I do want to do a big shout out to Capcom for 7.5 million copies sold. The biggest yes. Capcom game ever. And <laughs> literally. And, <laughs> and also, just so you guys know, this is saying that is literally killing Jazz on the inside. Oh yes, I'm just totally dying. Like seriously, like <laughs> I think I'm about to implode right now. <laughs> he, he hates giving Capcom recognition. <laughs> yes. Damn those it, Capcom. <laughs> <laughs> those, 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 those played sounds, those are him sending his forces. No, oh, yes. They'll be there momentarily. <laughs> <But> <laughs> But no, I'm glad that they're actually back on their feet for the most part. Now, yeah. if they can just keep this going, <laughs> they will be really well, in business. <laughs> well, it's like they have been picking up the pace a lot. And this is one thing I've told Jazz where it's just like, I hope that like what's been happening lately with them is sort of like what leads to a new renaissance because like uh, Resident Evil 7 was good. Uh, they did like some major fixes to Street Fighter V that everyone loved. Uh, Monster Hunter World coming out. Well, obviously it was like a big success. So hopefully, like they're finally getting their heads out of their asses to the point where it's just like, okay, we can actually start making like a massive profit now and start taking bigger risks. What I, what I think, what I think it is is that they've seen the backlash of uh, companies put not necessarily putting in microtransactions, but the way that they're putting in my, microtransactions. They see the backlash mm -hmm. that we are giving them, not only with our voices, but with our wallets as well. And these companies are starting to realize it's just like, yo, we want we want video games again. We don't want this bullshit that you're selling us. And, yeah, so, long as, and so long as you keep that bullshit up, we will slander you into the ground. I mean, I'm just glad that they recovered because they do hold some, like, really good IPs that are, like, near and dear. And I kind of, like... Uh, I don't want to see them go away just yet, because I, I, I imagine that they're most likely gonna like disappear before they'd actually be uh, transferred to someone else. I know, I know, I know wholeheartedly what you mean, Blair. Uh There's this, no. there's this closed down studio from back in the day called Zipper Interactive. These are the people who made so the SOCOM series, and SOCOM series is near and dear to me personally. I grew up. My first online experience was playing SOCOM Two back when my mom was at work and shit like that hmm but yeah like i love i love the socom series i you know at least when i had the manual dexterity to play them i have been playing them and uh hmm. um, when they when they came out with socom uh four i believe on ps3 and then they and then they also made mag as well the 256 player war shooter but mm -hmm. but you know horrible business practices like they did with SOCOM 4 led them down the wrong path and they ended up closing down and I'd say gone too soon because we could have got we could have had I'm just imagine if Zipper Interactive was still around today we would have a MAG 2 or a MAG whatever on the PS4 and just imagine mm -hmm. how many players that would have held if the PS3 during its era was able to hold 256 players on one in one server in one map imagine what what we have with the ps4 and the ps4 pro and if the game was lucky enough to make it on pc just imagine the magnitude of the game oh yeah with the, with the settings like that so yeah it's been this stuff has been going on forever but it isn't until now being thrown out into the world's like hey don't do this or we'll make you pay for it yeah but I mean, like, I'm just glad that like they were actually like strong enough to survive, and they like again, they're uh, they're doing some like really good stuff. Resident Evil Seven was good. Uh, uh, like Monster Hunter is like really doing well. Uh, I know that like, like, I would say that there it is 
I do kind of somewhat agree with like some what some people have been saying. It's just like their fighting games department sucks. It's like it's not as good as like the other departments. That being said, though, I do think though that like it it is getting better. It's like the like their their other sides are like up up, up higher than the fighting game department, but it's not terrible. It's not as it's not as bad as people make it seem. Mm. Mm. Yeah, also, the comment on Rowdy's thing, like, they look like Dead Space zombies. <laughs> <laughs> the, they're not necessarily zombies. You guys remember Call of Duty Black, uh, Black Ops Ghost? Holy crap. Do you guys remember Call of Duty, <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember Call of Duty Ghost, right? It's more or less like the extinction game mode as opposed to, like, zombie killing. But they're trying to, mm. but it's not just mindless zombie killing. We have a story with this shit. Mm hmm. Mm. Well, um, okay, well, it's, uh, got that quick shout out out of the way, but, uh, so next is the other mon, uh, one of the other four that's supposed to be coming in. Uh, I linked it to you guys, the Orochi Kirin, which is, uh, a bearded subspecies horse. of, of white bearded horse. This is now the black beard horse or dark blue, whichever you want. Mm. And, Yay. uh, I haven't fought this guy as much. Uh, it is... Like, it is definitely tougher, I can promise you that. I have fought it before, just not that much. And, uh... One second. Uh... And, yeah, you know, it is, like, uh... It's, a, it's I think it, it's around the same size. It's... I can't, I can't say much because, like, I haven't fought that many, you know? Like, uh, I don't even remember... I didn't even remember that they had ice powers. I thought they still had lightning powers, but... Uh, if it follows like the subspecies rule, then you know it's just gonna be like a massive pain in the ass. Because mm -hmm. like uh, maybe you, like whoever has played Monster Hunter World here, uh, which I think is everyone now that I think about it, uh, remembering like the fucking switch between like the regular Rathian and the pink Rathian, you think to yourself, oh, what's so bad about like the pink Rathian? Then next thing you know, you're like fucking dead on the ground, and you're just like, what the hell just happened? Mm -hmm. Which would mean you know. Guard your asses. Yeah. I so it's leave. basically uh, stage um, difficulty. Like uh, when you're going up and up. Which makes sense. Yep. And. Uh... I remember. Okay, like, I remember this one Bill Burr skit when it comes to the pink rapping. Just because mm -hmm. it's just because it's pink, you can just imagine Bill Burr just saying, it's like, what are you, a fag? <laughs> then proceeds to get his ass kicked. <laughs> just to get bodied by the pink Rathian. Then look at him, he's pink, he's a fag. <laughs> uh, okay, so, I mean, I can't say much about the Orochi Kirin, but what I, that's basically what, so that's what I got. So moving on to the next one. Uh, so far, we fought the Teostra, which is the dude version. Now get ready to fight the, the this bitch. monster, the <laughs> bitch, the Lunastra. <laughs> nice. And uh, so that's what that's uh, I that's what she looks like. Um, I haven't fought the Teostra outside of Monster Hunter World and the Lunastra. I have heard some stuff. Uh, that woman. <laughs> And mm -hmm. from what I hear, it's kind of like Diablos Black Diablos uh, sort of settings, which mm -hmm. is the woman is actually the the more aggro one of the two. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can pretty much say that on almost all the females, really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess, yeah. Well, I don't know, because, like, the Rathian actually, I think, is actually more aggro than the, or the Rathalos is more aggro than the Rathian. I think that the Rathalos just flies more. <laughs> I don't know. I think I do think it's a lot more aggro. I don't remember getting flipped around by, or like getting tossed off the side of a cliff by a, a Rathian. That was hilarious, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Even funnier when he does it to the Anjanat. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I, and I hear like here's the thing. What one video I linked to Jess a while back might suggest is that we might unfortunately not get a quest where we have to hunt a Teostra and a Lunastra because apparently what it says on their lore is that they uh, they don't really tend to hang around together that much. 
But I mean, we have a quest with a black Diablos and a Diablos. I don't see the difference, really. Yeah, I mean, like that's what that's what it says. Whether or not they keep their word, well, we'll see. But I mean, let's face it, we we all kind of want to fucking have a quest where we fight both of them at the same time, just because we're like that sick in the head. I'll kill them both, just like I did <laughs> the others. <laughs> just like I did their families. <laughs> Like okay. A lot of your husbands now to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> the wife. <laughs> okay. Uh, any thoughts? No. I say no. bring it on. <laughs> I'm <All> still. Right. <laughs> I'm still very much afraid of fighting this tempered Karen's quest that I'm stuck. Well, I'm not even stuck on it because I never tried it yet. I'm just scared shitless, honestly. I yeah. have. It's I have, it's rough. <laughs> I have thirty eight gear and everything. I'm just still very scared. Just like yeah. I, know, I know, like I know it's gonna be rough. So I'm just like, ah, let me get some, mm. let me get some and, better equipment first before. And I that might be a thing stuff. too. Uh, imagine fighting all of these monsters tempered. I'll kill them all. A tempered, <laughs> oh man, a tempered, a tempered devil Joe just sounds like a fucking nightmare based off the descriptions. <laughs> Yes, because like I know because Jazz has fought Basil guys, he's already like, oh, Basil guys is a terror and everything. It's just like Dude, okay, there's nothing compared to a tempered Basil guys in this game so far. <laughs> I have fought two of them by myself. Okay, I know oh, what they're no. like. Oh, Wait till you fight four oh. of those fuckers. <laughs> oh, look at me. My name is Moopsy, and I fought four tempered. Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah. No, he has it. I did. <laughs> oh, my name is Jess, and I fought four tempered. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, we lost it after that. <laughs> but fatigue, yeah, fatigue like fatigue one right there. <laughs> but I, if nothing else, I'll say this: Basil guys and Devil Joe, they're same. They're the same tier. I'll go with that. Mm -hmm. And then last, but certainly not least, a uh, monster that just refuses to drop its gems for me. Um, and Dean. this guy is just a massive dick. Nah, I got like, I got like two or three of them or something. I forget. <laughs> nice player. Yeah. The Alatreon. Whoa, who the hell Good is Good God. There? This is a fucking dick of a monster. Ah, huh. another, um... Elder Dragon. <laughs> it is indeed an Elder Dragon. Uh, this Elder Dragon is famous because of its elemental instability. Mm. What I mean by that is this dragon actually is able to uh, somewhat control four elements. He can control fire, dragon, lightning, so and ice. So what you're saying is that he's an airbender. He's the avatar. He's the avatar. He's the avatar. <laughs> he will bring balance to the world. <laughs> <laughs> Just replace Earth with Dragon and you're good. <laughs> and, I mean, yeah, this motherfucker is not... Is... He's the reason why the Fire Nation attacked. Uh, <laughs> he, no, the Fire Nation would be scared to fuck with this guy. Damn, son. <laughs> he is that tough. Uh, I mean, yeah, fucking, let's see, because he rains down icicles, he also has, like, uh, whirlwinds, uh, it's been a while since I fought him, so I'm trying to remember everything, uh, I know he also just, like, can roar and make volcanoes explode, um, shit, what else, he's got, like, so much, uh, he's also just aggro as fuck, I mean, <laughs> that goes without saying for most of them, <laughs> mm hmm uh, but I mean, yeah, man, and also kind of like the Kushadora, his tail's a pain in the ass to cut off. Mm. And uh, is there anything else? I mean, yeah, he's got phases where it's just like if he's on gra if he's on land, he will use his dragon and fire attacks, and if he's in the sky, then that's when he uses his, like his other air attacks. That's mm. when he uses like the icicles and, and all that shit. Mm-hmm. So, you know, this guy, he, cause like, let me, I guess like, let me put it to you this way, Eddie. Uh -huh. Um, you know how, like, when you have the Xenojiva, when you've got the Zora Magdaros, like those, are, those guys are kind of considered special event boss monsters. Yeah. He was the event boss, mon one of the event boss monsters for Monster Hunter 3. Okay. So, you know, to give you, like, a rough a, a rough estimate of what you're going to be dealing with here. 
all right then he just comes around every now and again and he's just like okay i'm just gonna disrupt your elements and fucking kill you like man i sure hope he wasn't trying to make progress <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like that's some nice progress you've got. You've got there. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> Did you just land on one of my icicles? <laughs> oh man! Oh well. I'm looking forward to all of them, carving their skin and wearing it as trophies. <laughs> yeah. And then the <laughs> devil Joe shows up and is like, "I want to eat the trophies." <laughs> <laughs> no, bad Devil Joe. <laughs> <It's a domestic. laughs> hey, the basil guy shows up. Hey, let's work together. Okay. I hate you both. <laughs> <laughs> nah. All right. So we have that it for uh, Monster Hunter. That's uh, uh, the lot of the stuff for Monster Hunter. I mean, because so far the only news I've really heard is the monsters themselves. I know one of the things that is desired uh, for Monster Hunter is they want uh, they want to see G rank back, uh, mm. which is like obviously the next rank, and it's also like where like every monster gets like super super buffed up, so that like uh, now you have to fight everything from the beginning again, but of course it can just annihilate you. Mm. They can practically do that now. <laughs> Yeah, but it'll it's it's kind of like you know going from G rank to or going from high rank to G rank. It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like if you were wearing mid tier armor, going from low rank and trying to fight a high rank monster. Hmm. You're just or, asking. You know. You're just asking for a bad time there. Yeah, it's but you know people pe people want that. People want to see G rank and uh, because so far the only news I've really heard is just the monsters themselves. Uh, we, we're going to have to wait until the Capcom stream next week before we can find out what the hell it is we're going to be getting. Mm -hmm. You get a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Devil Joe? Devil who? <laughs> Devil what? <laughs> <laughs> this is a Christian Capcom stream. <laughs> I'll have you know, I'm not a Christian, nor am I Capcom. <laughs> Stop, placing <laughs> Stop placing labels on me. <laughs> No. <laughs> Alright, so on to the next one. Which is the new Twitch guidelines. Yay! More booby streamers. <laughs> if only. No. <laughs> <laughs> so basically the Twitch guidelines for the most part was attacking the booby streamers, saying, Hey, you need to cover up for you get banned. And then I was thinking that was it until I know right. <laughs> I was thinking that was it until I read further into the rules. So now, if you stream snipe somebody, you can also get banned. Like, completely. Your channel, everything. I feel, I do feel like that's really fair. I say this very <laughs> alarmingly as a brute just came off the rooftop. Sorry. <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I agree with that. Because with, it's, cause someone like myself, if I were to stream a multiplayer game, a competitive multiplayer game, like <gasps> Rainbow Six Siege... All right, I, I would it would really suck if somebody came in while I was playing a competitive ranked game, and they're watching the stream, and then they decide to want to stream snipe me, thus hindering my progress, hindering my playability. You know what I mean? Uh, now, now it doesn't. I don't think it exists anywhere. If like if I'm streaming an RPG or nothing like that, it's just that you know these games get competitive nowadays. And hmm. stream sniping is like the one true way to like ruin it, and mm -hmm. I, and I'm I'm for stopping that. Mm -hmm. All for. Uh, we're gonna take a quick uh, intermission because we've got our music producer uh, Razzle on the line. Oh, hey Raz, what's up? What's up, girl? How you doing? Pretty good. How are you? You know, I'm doing pretty fucking well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so the reason why she's on is because we are de uh, in talks of developing uh, a theme song for this podcast, and so we need to work on. Uh, we're going to give you a behind-the-scenes uh, peek uh, of what we uh, what we're planning on doing. So, who wants to start? Well, I think Boopsy should start. 
That's a terrible idea. Go to the corner. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Actually, no. Free me from this chair. <laughs> nope. I'm already like, in the corner. I was just about to suggest, like, you the chair. <laughs> nope. Already in the corner. <laughs> God Play damn yourself. <laughs> my one, my one chance for freedom. <laughs> Play yourself. No. <laughs> well, um, oh, no. I don't know, uh, Raz. Like, do you, do you have any like songs that you've been like? I guess to start off is like, are there any songs that you have been wanting to be use uh, for a while now? Or uh... I'm not sure. Um, well, I guess to start off, like, do you guys have a genre in mind that you want the song to be like any sort of electronic genre, or just like electronic in general? If, well, if you if you, if you are looking for a place to start, I'd say I'd say smooth hip hop would be would work. All right. That's like it, uh, but I know that's if you're with, asking me though. Like I know with jazz is that like he wants something a, a bit like more on the on the smoother like chill side, you know, because he doesn't think that we're like super crazy or aggro, so he wants something like you know somewhat calm. I'm still in the corner. <laughs> like, how long do you want it to be? Like. I'm not sure how long the general uh, uh -oh. theme song or whatever is going to be. You can make intro, it. You can whatever. make it as long as you want. I was thinking. I was thinking maybe background music that you would that we'd use. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, you can. Uh, I have you can some. Make, you can make an intro. You can make background music. Hell, you can even make outro music. Yeah, All right. I was thinking both intro and outro music at least. All right, Jess, okay. get out of the corner. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> no, because um, I was actually going to ask, what is your strength, would you say, as far as like musical stuff goes? And we can probably go off from there. That is a good question. Uh, Glad yeah, I thought of it. Question. Um, All right. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I've been... In the past, I've been making a bunch of chill stuff, and just like in the past like month or two, I've been making more like future bass and stuff like that. But mm. uh, my, I guess my strongest thing is more chill stuff. Uh, nothing too specific, just more like low key stuff like that. Perfect. I think a lot of that would work, actually. Yeah. You said low fee. Low key. Low key. Key. low key. Okay, I thought so. I thought I would just make sure I heard that right. Avengers. I would love a low fee, but it is low key. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, because like uh, Raz, you are listening to the podcast, right? Yep. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> Fuck out <of> here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess, I, I I guess maybe what you could try is like uh, I don't know, maybe like just keep listening and then try to see if you can come up with like an idea of what, like what you think would sound good for us. Okay, uh, if I come up with ideas, I'll make a little clips of it so I can let you guys hear and see what you guys think. Perfect. That sounds like a plan. Yeah, I'm going to start off with like intro stuff like that. So, More plans than we make. Yeah. yeah. I'm loving all this plan coming together. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Yep, no problem. Razzle, everybody. Give her a hand. Yay! That was so much respecting women right there. <laughs> right there, the the biggest proof that we respect women here. Boom. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess also, I guess you can stick around if you want to. I mean, we don't have. Oh, that's she's gonna ask. Can she stick around? <laughs> we just kicking her out. <laughs> I didn't say I'd kick her out. <laughs> like, that just I mean, happened. I can I can start uh, making the music while you're actually doing the podcast too. Whatever you're comfortable with. No, it's no problem. It's easy peasy. Word. All right, I guess you can start back up then. Lit. All right. All right. So, no, uh, no, reason for you, no reason for you to leave. You know? mm. Yep. Uh, I mean, hell, uh, since he also streams on Twitch, he might also have some input about like all the new Twitch guidelines we're in. Yeah. Because another thing that might be interesting to everyone here is that they will also be moderating uh, chats so that if it seems too abusive in the chat for any sort of reason, even for your followers, they might take it out on you, too. That's wow. stupid. Hmm. That's different. That is quite dumb. That's, mm -hmm. That is really weird. Because, yes, it is. Because abusive as in how? 
Like, you mean well, like what we just did to Moopsy, like put him in the chair or something like that? Well, <laughs> when you put it that way, I need yes. Specific... <laughs> <laughs> I need to make I sure mean, you can always let me free the of the page. chair, and then you won't be hit by Twitch guidelines. Why the fuck would I do some shit like that? I know, right? <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> what the hell is but your no. problem, player? Mm. <laughs> but no, I always I thought this was very weird in an aspect, and they are they have stated that they might rethink these guidelines. These are not like super set in stone, mm -hmm. but they have been implemented as of uh two days ago okay i mean i mean i don't we don't break twitch rules anyway mm -hmm. it's just that you know it's like i think I, what i think twitch is doing is because youtube Penis. is no dipshit. yes all that <laughs> <laughs> without a doubt <laughs> I, I i don't know uh i don't know jazz i heard so i heard someone say penis in uh, eddie's twitch so i mean clearly he has to get banned right that's abusive I mean, not... those are the rules. <laughs> those are the rules. <laughs> it's out of my hands. <laughs> I can't even use my hands. See, that's where you're wrong, kiddo. <laughs> that's where you're wrong, kiddo. You want to know why? My chat is 18 plus at the stand. You, you can say things like penis in my chat, all right? Loopholes, activate. No loophole. Shit, I just set up the rules. I say fuck a lot. So <laughs> you trying to become a lawyer? Objection. <laughs> Overruled. Damn it. Like I, I, I curse a lot while I'm streaming as it stands. So yeah, I make it 18 plus. So that way, people who are under 18 will be notified. So that's not lawyer talk, Eddie. That's not lawyer. No, it's not lawyer talk. It's it's guys. It's just respecting talk. women. Exactly. You saying Twitch doesn't respect women? What? <laughs> Res, how respect? How respected do you feel? Uh, eight out of ten. Oh man, we're yeah, failing. Yeah. <laughs> you just got an open. Jokes on you. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've been I've been respecting women long before I started this Twitch game, player. Damn, that's a lot of respecting. <laughs> at least we're not Jen. At least we're, <laughs> at least we're not Jen. <laughs> I need Jen here. I want Jen here. I don't feel I don't feel right talking trash about Jen when he's not here. I need him here. Well, I mean, until he comes in, I mean, that's on him. <laughs> Good luck getting him in, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> I know, Roddy. Good job on you. But, no, like, for the most part, like, I wanted to bring this out for everybody, really, because... Something could happen in their chat, and all of a sudden, wait, why is my chat banned all of a sudden? Yep. Oh, do you didn't check these guidelines? Well, here's a sheet for you. <laughs> but even, but even, even then, the way I, the way I see it, right? If your, mm -hmm. if your chat room is chill as it stands, mm -hmm. you're not gonna have a problem anyway. If you treat people with respect more than just women, I'm talking about human beings. Holy <gasps> shit! It's That's not even 2019 yet. <laughs> Like, holy shit, I'm talking about treating human beings like human beings? Oh my fucking god, get the fucking presses. No, but seriously. <laughs> like, seriously, like, if everybody if everybody in here is having a good time, well, I mean, everyone in here is having a good time. That's just... There's just no... Sounds like he's trying to run for president. Word? No. Nah, Eddie, 2020. Against <laughs> Oprah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> cannot possibly win. <laughs> it's a lost cause, but it's fine. <laughs> R.I.P. But no, I just wanted to do a quick rundown of these so that we get that word out there. Because a lot of people were like, whoa, there's new guidelines? And I was like, yeah, they've been trying yeah. to do it for a long time. <laughs> yeah, like fucking, uh, I was streaming yesterday, and like Jess said, they were implemented two, uh, two days ago. I was like, I was streaming yesterday, I got no notifications. Mm-hmm. I mean, They'd be kind of keeping on a download for some reason. I don't understand. I, I kick a lot of people out. I, I do. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> I, no, I understand completely why they do something like that. Because if the Twitch guidelines change, but people are still doing these abusive things and they're not reading up on it, they can catch these people in the act and get rid of them right then and there. The whole point is, <laughs> I'm thinking what they're doing is they're just trying to cleanse all the toxic people off of Twitch because hell, no matter how, no matter who you are, when you go on Twitch, you always expect to find either quality content or toxic shit. 
Mm -hmm. I respect uh, everything, everything. I swear, preach officer. I was respecting my outside. <laughs> preach. Word. That's just, but that's just how it, that's just how it goes. That and what I was saying earlier is that I think Twitch is trying to get on YouTube's ad, ad revenue train since YouTube lost a lot of it. They're just like, well, why don't you come on Twitch? We ain't got nothing like that. All we got is just people playing video games or people being really good entertainers, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, There's a That and, you know, fucking Amazon, man. Amazon is the shit, man. Word. So. How much are they paying you? How much are they paying me? It's just nothing, man. I'm paying them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, yeah, okay. But even but even then, like they're still they're making great strides right now. So they're just trying to. I'm pretty sure, like they're just trying to they're trying to get on this gravy train that is the ad revenue. Mm -hmm. Especially since people were already running ads on Twitch, now they're gonna get paid more for the ad revenue. That means more ads. That means more people getting partnered. That means just more positive things around. And all, all you have to do is just, hey, make sure you work for it. Word. At least that's how I see it. Hmm. Nope. I think we hit this one right on the nail. That and there are some, there, there are some very, very abusive streamers out here. Mm hmm Like people who treat, people who treat their live stream audience like pieces of meat not respecting Wham in 2018 and those people need mm -hmm. to go they'll learn <laughs> the hard way <laughs> alright so I, um, I'm sorry I can, I can go on I can go on for a while on this Twitch thing word no you can go ahead. it's just uh, okay last, last statement I promise right mm -hmm. that's what he says <laughs> I know that's what I always. You're on say. the clock. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, seriously, well, with everything, everything that's going on in the world alone, not just the U.S., not just particular places, it's just a lot of negativity and everything going on. So we need, so we need to spread this positivity, man. We need to be able to like fix all this toxic shit. Mm -hmm. We need to kill a Nazi here or there. You said it, not mm -hmm. me. Those are your words. <laughs> I'm just over here in my corner. <laughs> You're out of the corner. Damn it! He knows. <laughs> I mean, what? Are you taking a guy? Are you guys taking a pro-Nazi stance? <laughs> Once again, you said it, not me. <laughs> I said kill Nazis. Stop saying things, Moosey. Stop talking. And maybe if you quit, if you quit saying stupid shit, just... probably just get you out of the fucking Literally, chair, didn't man. I just talk about the damn Twitter lines? You guys forgot to put tape over me. <laughs> I'll remember next time. <laughs> Someone bring the tape. Shit, tape, goddamn muzzle on <laughs> uh, yeah you were all like oh yeah you know fucking uh, i say fuck so you know 18 plus and all that shit i'm see i'm all of a sudden talking about killing nazis and all of a sudden it's just like too far moops well i mean you're killing somebody so <laughs> a nazi's There's not a person in this christian stream <laughs> Raz knows what's up about this Christian stream, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> I mean, Nazis aren't people, so. You guys said it, not me. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I know, Jess. Stop talking like that. <sighs> I gotta have to wash my mouth sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Get the soap. <laughs> uh, I guess we can move on to our next one. Yeah. Which is Google making a console. Yay. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> All right, so this is from Forbes, which is basically saying that they've been working on this since last year, and they're just starting to actually go into the true development on it. And apparently, it's going to be working with their Chromecast as well as the whatever new console it is. And it's going to be called Yeti, and it's going to have like live streaming um, properties as well as streaming games to the um, whatever box it is, and so on and so forth. Now, allow me to explain why this is a bad thing. There is something that is out right now that is doing the exact same thing that the Yeti is doing. Can anyone guess what that is? PlayStation what else is on? services. There you go. <laughs> you mean, you mean, like you mean the current generation of consoles? Holy fucking... 
Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I could not see this coming. You, you fucking man. <laughs> I mean, isn't like freaking uh, Xbox One on the lower end right now of the console wars? Yes. As of right now, yes. So it's kind of like, what the hell's Google gonna bring in to the uh, to the console war uh, that's really gonna make them stand out? That's my second point. What are they gonna do? Because <laughs> <laughs> honestly, they they've tried something before and it died basically on arrival, and so much that nobody even heard about it. But. Um, <laughs> Like, it was on the same thing of, like, mobile gaming to uh, console gaming kind of thing. And because of the taboo thing of microtransactions, it was dead. (laughs) (laughs) And it seems like they're trying the whole thing again, but with a, quote, different perspective on it. Oh, microtransactions. (laughs) I don't know, right? (laughs) Macrotransactions. (laughs) <laughs> we're taking it to the next level <laughs> God damn, <son. laughs> now I will say this probably will be for officially on the announcement board for like a slate of a uh, release date come E3 but right. there is a question I wanted to bring up to you guys that made me kind of curious myself and gals when they announce it what is something that will come out on it that would make you say, I'm buying this day one? Nekopara. All right. Boops, <laughs> <laughs> <Pass. laughs> Pass. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, because like a lot of like a lot of the stuff I want to see is either something from Nintendo or like a, a, a an IP a company holds like say something like from Square Enix or some shit like that. Um. Outside of that, I'm just like I don't I don't care. Okay, so let's go with the Square Enix route. They announce X game that you've been waiting for for the entire billion year whatever to come out on this new console. Are you getting it? No. I have rarely, if ever, bought consoles <laughs> for, like, uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna buy it for Beyblade. <laughs> no, that's what Roddy said in the chat. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but, um... Like, I, I almost never buy, like, fucking consoles just for, like, a single game, no matter how much I want it. Um... Like, uh... A while back when like the whole Mega Man Legend uh, Legends project was happening, a lot of people uh, bought a 3DS just so that they could play the demo. And then when they got canceled, a lot of people were just like angry. It's like I spent all this money on the for a fucking 3DS, and I'm just like, you guys are fucking idiots. You guys should have waited till it was out first. The whole time I knew it was just like a fucking in development thing that I didn't even know if it was gonna come out. And then when like when the shit hit the fan, everyone was all of a sudden just like, oh, you know, I'm upset, and it's your fault. And it's just like you guys are the ones that jumped too far ahead. Mm-hmm. So I, like I didn't. It's in. Um, those aren't the only moment. That's not the only moment I can think of where like you know someone said, "Oh, we're announcing this." Oh, it got canceled. Well, what the fuck? Now I'm just stuck here with a console I didn't. Even, I don't even want. Fucking uh, Xbox. <laughs> no, yeah, it, that was I was about to say. Fucking when Xbox released Killer Instinct, uh, oh, and uh, Dead Rising Three, I was like, I I totally want the crap out of those games. I'm not willing to shell out like six. Like how much was it? Like four hundred, five hundred bucks for an Xbox One. Just yeah, so that I can play those, like those, just so that I can play those two fucking games. Are you kidding me? I'm not made of fucking money. Fuck you, guy. Mm. It was mainly because they added the connect, and it was like you must have this now. <laughs> oh yeah, bigger waste of money for like ah, I want a fucking camera that doesn't even work. It's like go fuck yourselves. I'm not spending. I'm not wasting my money. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm not gonna have like a fucking five hundred dollar doorstop that doesn't even work properly. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The Xbox. Microsoft did not do a good job on the marketing scheme for that. TV, and, it's the future. <laughs> <laughs> it's somehow the past. <laughs> Samurai me, Jack. Me, um, me and my buddies talked about this too. Like they they did a really bad job at advertising it because it's like they were talking about you can watch TV on this thing. I'm like, yeah, but it's a gaming console. And TV. We, but what? But what they said was just like, yo, if you want to play game, if you want to play games, we got a console for that. It's called the 360. They mm. they said that. Yeah, yeah, they legit said that. That was like that was the biggest no no. It's just like <laughs> it's just like yeah, we're gonna take digital purchases and link them to your account. Well, we're gonna take physical copies and link them to your account. 
Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and also like all, always on DRM. Yep. And it's like, and it's like Sony's just like, you want to know how you can share physical copies with your friends? Well, really, how do you do that? Here you go. Thanks, <laughs> man. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. You take this disc from your friend, and that's it. <laughs> Just like, what? like you take this and it's then the future. And you hand it over to the side. Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> yeah, shit like that. Like they that that marketing scheme was just not good. Mm hmm. And they 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 goofed up with that one. I won't. Mm hmm. I won't like I I. I mean, even if I were to support Microsoft, you really can't after some shit like that. And growing up, growing up on Sony, you know, doesn't doesn't help them either. No, well, because like I, I would say this, uh, up, growing man? up on Sony myself, uh, it's one thing for it to be that uh, you know Microsoft is doing like their own shit and like like they they're coming out with their own games, and none of them are attracting me to go over to their side. Mm -hmm. It's another thing to try and sell me on a console and fucking just taking almost like the exact wrong steps to fucking make me not want to get it. Yeah, and that's that's exactly what they did. I mean, there's always that preference. It's just like, well, I like this over that, where I support their business practices over that, which is all fine and dandy. But then when you're like, when you tell people, hey, we have something for that. It's called last gen, bitch. You know what I mean? Shit like that. Like, like that's just not fucking, some stuff you do. Fucking imagine if that's what it was like for like fucking uh, Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter 5 where it's just like, oh, we're coming up with all these uh, things for Street Fighter 5 and it's just like, well, what if we want to do this? It's called Street Fighter 4, bitch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. No, 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 no. Or they, or it's just like, hey, Street Fighter 5 is going to have all these things. Yeah, but what about that? Bitch, you can play Street Fighter 4 Ultra Edition. Suck my dick. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Like those business mm. practices are not, are not that, they're not good, you know? Nope. It's only making them look worse. Which actually brings me to some good things that could come from this Google thing. What's up? Actually. Guys? And I'm in, I'm not gonna preference this by saying I'm kind of reaching. I know I am. <laughs> <All right>. But <laughs> to say this, let's say the Google whatever console I really doubt it's gonna be Yeti, because there's already a Yeti thing going on anyway. But mm -hmm. Uh, let's just say the new Google console is very successful. Mm -hmm. What that means unlikely. is, uh, uh, yes, unlikely to extent because of other things, um, but it's, it's successful. That means more competition and more competition. I've always found is a good thing because it pushes other companies to try new things and go over the edge with their ideas. <laughs> now, what that could possibly be is say they take whatever fan base, let's say Xbox, for example, uh, and, and PlayStation, let's just say those two for the thing. They take those groups away to the Google console, whatever. PlayStation and Xbox are going to have to find ways to bring them back. So what does PlayStation do? Fucking backwards compatibility. <laughs> It's yeah. like, oh, okay, I'm back to PlayStation again. <laughs> I'm, I'm 100 percent behind what you're talking about. The mm. one, I'll say this though, because one of the things about it is that like Xbox One has fucking has gotten backwards compatibility, and they're still suffering. Like it's not enough to save well, that. Well, so to be fair, they also are canceling their games left and right and all that other shit. So they also have a larger problem with backwards compatibility. <laughs> <laughs> It's like they're bringing, they're bringing backwards compatibility, but then again, that's what they were winning in in the first place. You know what I mean? They were winning during that era. So in order to mm -hmm. try to bring themselves up to Sony and their current era now, they're like, okay, remember those blasts from the past that you had a good time with? Yeah, buy them again. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then you're asking mm -hmm. the question. We were in competition. <laughs> exactly. But it's not... <laughs> but, but Okay, but now... Now... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go a point further with you, Jazz, on the whole competition thing. Is there's mm. there's good competition, there's horrible competition, uh, bad competition. And, oh, absolutely. And what mm. and what Microsoft did was absolutely piss poor competition because like the, if the only thing if the only thing that they have going is just like well we have backwards compatibility, well mm. shit that's when you that's when you know how to treat studios. Tr mm. Studios nowadays would rather go to Sony because at least Sony's just like hey. Hey, here's some money. Make it great. Mm -hmm. Scalebound was a 
uh, the, oh the, gosh. Yeah, I know. That's the main <laughs> example I'm going with. Scalebound. It was just like, yeah, man, we're gonna we're gonna be great. We're gonna do all this awesome stuff and all that. And then Microsoft mm-hmm. put them through the ringer for it. Hmm. And like, I didn't even have an Xbox One, and I was rooting for. That's how bad it was. <laughs> I uh, because well, what I thought was that like, I figured that that was gonna be like a big time game that was gonna actually make uh, Xbox a lot of money because it, it's just like. Uh, they were selling it more on like the platinum name than they were actually like the game itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that that would made me kind of sad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. As, it, but, as well as it make anyone sad. But then now mm-hmm. all the PlayStation exclusives are. I mean, oh, I'm sorry. All the Xbox exclusives are going over to Sony, or they're doing like, okay, we'll release on both, and then PS4 will sell the shit out of it on mm-hmm. Xbox than anything else. And then they hurt themselves even further when they put it on both Xbox One and PC. Yep. <laughs> like, why would you do that? <laughs> but, um, if I, oh, I, 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 I want to incite a little bit of fanboy warism and shit for if I can, if I can. I'm playing, oh shit, he's about to do it. <laughs> I, this boy's about to do it. So, so, so the Xbox fanboys want to say, well, our servers are better than Sony's. And all this other shit, yeah, because nobody's fucking playing on. Everybody's over here <laughs> clocking up our servers. Point. <laughs> <laughs> the PlayStation's got the heart attack of servers. <laughs> like Sony's over here. Like, oh, sorry, you're gonna you're gonna find like a lowering quality for like a little bit. Sorry, guys, just everybody's on our, our everyone's on our servers, man. So nothing we can do, man. Mm. Yeah, that's that's all the trash I wanted to talk. Word. But no, well, the other thing I was going to bring up, which Sorry. is kind of slightly negative, but at the same time, it could come out positive, right. is let's say this thing, which would most likely fail, mm-hmm. um, fails like really, really bad for it. Maybe the other companies will see this as a, hey, maybe we should stop trying to go towards that. Because <laughs> no, clearly you're that's talking not about working. Whole, you're talking about this whole Xbox, uh, this new, I forgot the name of it already, I'm sorry. Uh, Yeti. Yeah, the Yeti. You're talking about. But, I mean, like, right? like I, mm-hmm. you're, you're, I think he, I think he's more talking about like com- random companies trying to make like a console, thinking that they can get console money. Mm, yeah, I see. What you're well, saying. uh, I didn't really mean that. I mean, because honestly, there are a couple of companies that might have great ideas for con- do all the other stuff. Has it happened yet? No, but I mean, anything can happen. Um, I was more on the line of hey, because like a lot of. The consoles lately have been going to let's go to streaming streaming seems like the thing everybody's doing and then we have things like share play Mm -hmm. which don't fucking work because of the internet issues (laughs) that that are some games just outright reject share play that too (laughs) i've 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 only shared play i've only shared played one game the entire time i've had my playstation 4 and the lag on it was so fucking bad that like i couldn't take any of those matches seriously uh so it was just kind of like it was almost just like a a, a button a, a button mash fest mm-hmm. I, I remember trying to share play tekken 7 with my buddy tyler and it wasn't even 60 frames per second and, you know what i mean like i have good internet good enough internet to stream clearly as we speak right now mm-hmm. but i you know it was it wasn't in 60 frames there was input lag out the wazoo and i'm just like why why, why is this a good idea yeah or, mine was or, like or, uh, or rather, mine was like 20 frames or, mm-hmm. or rather why isn't these playstation updates doing anything about share play it's just mm-hmm. it, it makes it make what what i think about it is that sony tried to implement this thing that would get people playing together but then at first what people were doing was just all right, well, I'm going to start share play, and I'm going to go walk away now while you enjoy this free game for nothing. Mm-hmm. And it's like mm-hmm. you just played an entire game without paying for it, and so it's just like, okay, yeah, you can't do that. Or rather, we don't mm-hmm. want you to do that. Mm-hmm. And just to add on top of that, uh, I tried the the free month for um, PlayStation Now because a friend of mine had only a PlayStation 3, mm-hmm. and we wanted to try playing Resident Evil 5. I was curious, so I was just like, okay, let's just see what this happens on it. Right. And oh my god, it was like, you know like when you're watching a TV, 
and you get to that channel that like it's working but it's not like it's staticky and shit uh -huh. it was exactly like that where <laughs> i would be able to see something and then it was a blue screen and mm -hmm. then i'd be dead <laughs> I did like, now. I tried PlayStation Now. I gotta disagree with you on PlayStation Now at least because hmm. oh, okay, okay. Well, let me. Let, I said disagree like it was like an outright disagreement. It's like a hmm. slight disagreement. It. I did yeah. PlayStation Now too to play uh, Ninja Gaiden with Lee. Lee loves Ninja Gaiden. Well, see, and I actually know where you're going with that. Yeah, boy. Honestly, with certain games, because it's actually been proven, certain games, the online aspect of it hmm. is perfect. And then you do other games, and it's absolute shit. <laughs> yeah, but see, you see, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna go that far with it. I was gonna say it's just like it was working all right. It wasn't perfect. I had some input lag, but it's like it was playable at best. Mm. You know, like eh, could have been, it could have been a worse experience. Think about it like that. That's that's the mm. point I wanted to make. Mm -hmm. But no, like I get, like get, like there, there was a lot more of shit than good in my experience on it. Because right. like I would play like. I don't know, Warriors Orochi, for example. Why Not too you, bad. Why would you play Warriors Orochi? I was testing out the PlayStation Now. But why would you go <laughs> and game? Didn't we play that together? Yes. The, what? I don't get your point. I said I was testing out the stuff to see what worked and what didn't. Nah, <laughs> all right, man. I'm just, uh, whatever, man. What do I know, and, man? And, I'm just a and, bitch. He just doesn't get it. Uh, I mean, that's what I'm trying to, like, it doesn't matter if I have the game or not. I wanted to test out the system oh, to man. see how it worked. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's fucking weird if you ask me. I think you're I'm... tired. <laughs> 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 no, I just like no, I just needed like I just needed a reason to antagonize you. It's <laughs> <laughs> for the street. For, for the views. We Do it for the vibe. We can't all, we can't <laughs> always vibe, agree on everything hundred percent of the time. It's fucking boring, man. I disagree I that we can't all agree on <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but we got look, we're trying to get gaming views, we're trying to get brotherhood views, but we gotta get those drama views, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dab you. Uh, we, got the, we got the girl views because of Raz. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> You know, like, I'm to be disagreeing and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I actually think that for the first year, this Google thing's going to work. I disagree. I know you disagree. <laughs> Here's why you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you you want to throw down? <laughs> Coming from the same man who was all about that, we can always agree. <laughs> thing is disagree with well let me tell you why you're wrong <laughs> get well, a load people, of this guy that's why people straight. don't disagree a lot <laughs> but no like the re here's the reason why I do think it will work for the first year up, it's it's like the same thing the reason why the iPhone works for the uh, first, uh, first year and then they make a new one and all that shit it's the new thing people are gonna be like hey this is new let's try it and then they're probably going to have something. I don't know what it is because I don't work there. I'm not in the office. But they're probably going to have something that's going to be huge. That people are like, I want to try that. It always happens. <laughs> so it's, just, it's basically like the stupid new shiny principle. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I, think the only, now, I think the only way this shit's going to work, cause, because it's coming from Google, they would have to have PUBG in 1080 60. Like That's the only way that they can make that work. PUBG, and I think if PUBG does not work like mm -hmm. that at all, and that's, it's funny you say that. I think they will add something like that. Think so? I do think so. Nice. And we really know why? It's because it's the end thing. They're gonna, they're being, they Google what they do is they basically take all your search shit and whatnot, and then they put uh, make it so that hey, you like this, so maybe you'll like this. Mm. They're great at that shit. That's why Google is Google. <laughs> So they're definitely going to be taking what's the popular thing right now? Oh, right PUBG. Right now oh, Fortnite. <laughs> but taking the yeah. popular thing doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to instantly have lasting power. Not that, lasting power, no. But, yeah. they're, but they're not looking for lasting power. Like right out the jump, they're not looking for lasting power. Out the jump, what they're looking for is those fast sales, like the now, exactly. the now thing. Let's say right now we need to get you hooked. We don't need a lasting power thing. We need and to get you well, in. <laughs> because here's the thing. I guess, uh, okay, I can see that. My question is, what would be the, the, the hook to get you involved? 
because PlayStation has like the streaming stuff, and even then, that doesn't work uh, all that great. Um, Oculus and God knows how, and I think there's like two or three other like VR uh, VR uh, machines out there. So like they, there's already a market a market covering that. Nintendo freaking is like the fucking king of of uh, handheld. So, like, what other areas can they explore in three regards of gaming? Well, see, and that's where I think this Chromecast thing goes. I think they're going to be trying to use a Chrome, Chromecast thing as a console, so you can take it even in your pocket, like, even better than the Switch. You just plug it in and you're gone. You're good. Madness. <laughs> uh, madness, I say. No, this is Google. <laughs> that's it. But, no, I think that's going to be one of their hooks. It's like, oh, you don't have to carry around that big old thing in your hand. Just take this. There you go. <laughs> what games does it have? And then they'll show off whatever games they have. <laughs> I don't like this game. <laughs> well, I mean, you're one in, like, millions, so... <laughs> 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 yeah, they, uh, they definitely, in order to do that, they got to take, they have to take what's popping. Mm-hmm. Like because it's new, people's just like gonna look at it like, hmm, you know, like peeking around the corner or some silly shit like that. But then it's just like, yeah, but we got this, and it's like, mm-hmm. oh, they're gonna mm-hmm. have to find a way to freaking really uh, pump up something great because there's also like the freaking the one gaming constant too, which is the PC market. Because God knows how many times people can be like, yeah, I can get it here, or I can just wait for it to come out on PC. Well, that's why it's a Google going to be a Google-only exclusive. You can only get it through their shit. They're not going to pull an Xbox. <laughs> We're like, hey, you wait, can wait, play like... it on the Xbox, or you can play it here. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to see how it plays out, honestly, before I, I can like really solidify anything. Because I'm just kind of like, a lot of this stuff is obviously it's like speculation. I'm just thinking mm. to myself though that it, um, I'm just thinking though that it's just like you know, what's gonna be like the big thing that uh, really att- attracts people att- att- people's attention because yeah, it might have like the new shiny factor, mm. but like everyone's like ADD as hell right now, which means mm. that it's just like okay, the new uh, look, ooh shiny, and then all of a sudden it's just like after a week or something, it's just like I'm bored of it. Well, that's where the games come in because the games will get you talking for more than weeks. And then so one thing they, have, they could like, possibly do is... Would they have, like, uh, Chrome exclusive games? Yes, the, uh, that's the thing. Google would have, be like PlayStation, they, they would have their own exclusive games that you would want to play. That's what I was asking before. What would be something that they could do that would make you say, I'm getting this console? Because if... one thing I can think of a lot of people would do is what if they took one of the exclusives Xbox had and say, hey, we're going to save it. We're going to take it. It's going to be on here. If it's not already on PC. No, it's I not. Say... They already canceled it. <laughs> well, you were going to say Scalebound? Yeah, well, let's say let's just say Scalebound, for example. Boom, we got Scalebound. Scalebound is the best example because it was well, a game brimming with problems. Yeah. Only to exactly. I was gonna, I was gonna say like uh, I was going to say, like, if Google really wants to make a profit off of this, their first, one of their launch titles would have to be something by Platinum. I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, nah, nah, dude. Like, one of the things is just like, I like Platinum as a company, but it's just like, I hate how rabid their fanboys are. No, no. I don't think that's the f- perfect start to it, in my opinion. Get it, getting mm-hmm. freaking Platinum to come up with a console exclusive for launch to your, to your what you're trying to sell? No, I don't think that's the perfect. Like, it's a good start, but I don't think it's the perfect uh, I disagree. thing. Well, yeah, you should. <laughs> you all the time, damn it. <laughs> no, I'm thinking you need a super big name company. Like, Platinum is good and they're big, but you need, like, someone even bigger than that to, uh, to get people. Because Platinum, for us, yes, we know Platinum. Eddie knows Platinum. Hey. A lot of gamers know Platinum. I doubt someone that's a casual gamer knows Platinum. So you want to get the casual gamer as well. I, I think I know where you're going with this, Jazz. You want them to hire EA. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I thought like something intelligent was going to come out of there, 
<laughs> I, a part of me, there's a slight part of me that thought, That's what okay, thought, he might like, be going to say something. <laughs> like, and then the rest of me was like, he's going to say some dumb ass shit. <laughs> you know how I work. <laughs> you, like you, you done baited us so high only to let us down even further. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> well done. You've doomed us all. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking someone big that's not hated, for one thing. <laughs> well, if I mean, if I, if I legitimately meant EA, I would have to commit myself. <laughs> no, um, let's see. Who, let's say, who would be that big person, in your opinion, other than Platinum? <laughs> um... There's a reason I'm thinking of the Metacritic score that's been gone up, and EA's been dropping like shit on that one. Well, I mean, obviously, out. Clearly. but the big, the biggest one on the Metacritic score is Bethesda. Bethesda or Bethesda? Uh, Bethesda. Silence. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> but um. Like, I was thinking somebody probably big on the Metacritic score, but then there could be someone else that would be also... Hey, this person's really huge with casual audiences. <laughs> I think it would have to be someone, like, uh... Um, I mean, like, the companies that I, th I can figure, I can imagine, would have, like, the best chances would be, like, either the guys that made Skyrim, the guys that made Minecraft, the guys that made, uh, Witcher. Like, I think those guys, mm -hmm. they'd have, like, some of the best chances. Which could be true in that aspect especially like on minecraft all the kids go but um and then you get your christmas sales on that because uh, like, i haven't built this fucking house like 500 times hey 12 year olds is gonna be 12 year olds man yeah. <laughs> but no like honestly yeah, well, that would be <laughs> no they won't wait till next year then they're gonna be 13. no they're still gonna be 12 year olds at heart no <laughs> um eh. You know, no, but that, I would say like a uh, Minecraft producer or something like that. That would be a pretty good idea. Not gonna lie. Does but, Minecraft uh, still sell a shit ton? Cause fucking. I mean, it's still very popular. Despite people trying to kill it, it's still very popular. <laughs> but mm, what about you, Eddie? Ah yeah, man. See, do, see. The thing is, all the all the people that you mentioned are already prevalent in either the PC or gaming console market. So they would have to pay more money to get these particular studios into an exclusivity deal. They'd be like, okay, well, you you work for us now. I mean, to be fair, it's Google. Yeah, so... yeah, it's, yeah, it's <laughs> so, you, you, yeah, but it's also Google's not like. Like they're barely getting into the gaming market. That doesn't. That's like they, they might have like a shit ton of money. Sweep for the fences. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't also guarantee that they're gonna like. Uh, just because they throw a shit ton of money at something doesn't mean it's gonna be a guaranteed success. Well, see, and that's the thing. I think you're thinking diff a difference between a producer and someone actually making the game. They can produce the thing. They're not making the game. <laughs> you're thinking. You're thinking. You're thinking you're I think you're thinking of a publisher versus a developer. That too. EA like uh, EA is a publisher. Yeah. But C D Project Red is a development studio. Yeah. Starbreeze, the people who made Payday are development studios. Yeah. Basically what Eddie was saying. Yeah. And but I but I'm but I'm talking about like development studios. Like those mm. are the people like like you gotta buy them from under Sony. You gotta buy them from under who, who, whoever they're under at the moment. Hmm. Well, I mean, you don't have to buy them. You can just contract them. Or you can contract mm. them too to make this completely. <laughs> no, no, Eddie said it. They have to be bought. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> wow, shit. I'm sorry, boys. <laughs> no, but yeah, to be on the more positive side, I think it could work for a year. These guys don't. And these guys are wrong. No, on to the next thing. <laughs> oh, um, What's next, player? We are going to games that are coming out this month and what we're excited for. Mm. Okay. And I can automatically start this one off because I'm already excited for one particular game that's coming out, and that is Nino Kuni 2. Did that come out this month? 
It is coming out this month. <laughs> Man, it's what? gonna be. Is it coming out this month? <laughs> it is coming out wow. this month. <laughs> 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 I feel like that was you at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm very excited for that game because I played through the first one at least eight times. And I'm still going to play it again before the game comes out. <laughs> what about you guys? What are you looking forward to? I don't know any games that are coming out this month. Word. I've been, because I've been, I put my, I put myself, I'm putting myself under like a gaming rock just because, like, I was trying to get a job. Fair enough. So it's just like, I really, I'm like, he's failing as a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, unless I unless I come across like some super awesome gaming deal, like like I recently bought uh, not until dawn. What game is it? Oh, uh, Dying Light mm -hmm. for like ten dollars. Uh -huh. Stuff like that. Yeah. Stuff to add to the backlog because backlog is great when you're broke. Hmm. Fair enough. But, but I I really don't know any games that are coming out, nor have I ever really tried to look. Not out of not out of disinterest, but just because like that's not the type of shit that I need on my mind right now. Fair so, enough. So, gentlemen, besides Neo Kuni, besides Neo Kuni two, because I really I I didn't like Neo Kuni one, but I never even played it. I I tried to. Play I didn't it. finish it. I try. I tried to play it, and I fell asleep during the intro, and it, that. <laughs> oh man. That, I mean, that doesn't mean the game is bad. It just didn't suit my taste. It wasn't nothing yeah. about like the introduction to the game <laughs> that just put mm. me. It's just like you know what? I'm gonna play the shit out of this game. <laughs> that mm. feeling Jazz gets when someone says they don't like Inokuni. <laughs> <laughs> Trigger! <No. laughs> I'm no. going down. I'm, so, I'm sorry. No. I'm like I'm sorry. No, I'm you know? no fucking. Like, if anything, we'd be look. ganging up on him because I, I didn't, I didn't care for it either. I didn't finish it. Like this is my thing with Nino Kuni, Fuck. as far as like people who don't like it and whatnot. Right. Like the thing is, from it, like you remember like how Kingdom Hearts was right. when it first came out. Everybody's like, "What the fuck is this shit?" Right. <laughs> And literally, he's like, dude, fighting with a key? What What the hell is that? And some people just never got past that. Right. And I feel like the same thing goes with Nino Kuni. I it would have, looks like, well, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> well, I would say this. That, like, that might be the case for some people. That was not the case for me. Well, you're weird, so nobody cares. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, go ahead. Oh, no. well, cause not, cause I, I was gonna say like the reason why I didn't care that well, why I wasn't all that invested is because, um, like the story, it was like average. It like they, there was there weren't that many moments where like it was really hooking me in. Like uh, what was it? I think I got to like the ice village where you didn't I get stopped. Get that far at all? <laughs> well, I know I had the dragon by I, I know I had the dragon. Yeah, you still um, weren't that far at all. <laughs> yeah, but it's just like. Uh, cause, well, because like the story wasn't hooking me in all that well, um, fucking, and the main mechanic of it, I ended up seeing is just like, well, shit, you know, the game's not like terrible or anything like that, but it's not hooking me in because this is just Pokemon. So mm. I'm just kind of like, you know, if I wanted to play Pokemon, why don't like, like there's there, and there's not that many different mechanics, so it's just like, why don't I just go play Pokemon instead, you know? It's kind yeah. of like saying, I have to disagree with these, that, but why would you play these clones <laughs> of Monster Hunter when I can just play Monster? Play Hunter? Monster Hunter, yeah. But yeah, but it's also it, like there are sometimes some games where it'll be like you know why why like what's the difference between playing like say Dark Souls and like Monster Hunter? It's just like well there's a variety of like the different mechanics. For the mm -hmm. for like a lot a good chunk of Nino Kuni, I honestly did feel like it was a little Pokemon esque. So I was just like I'll just play that. But yeah, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. You didn't get far enough to to the other mechanics and the thing so i can understand that but um and i blame the story for that i mean you can't really you didn't get that far <laughs> but <laughs> but it didn't keep me engaged so <laughs> no. but, uh, that's, so that's the story's fault for it um but yeah i i can see that point but like a lot of people were than that you um, cut off real bad what'd you say I was saying that a lot of more people fall fall under my category for the most part, but there were a couple people who did fall under yours. Hmm. Um, 
But yeah, like other than Nino Cooney uh, too, there's also um, Devil May Cry HD collection coming out. Um, and there's also Scribble Not Showdown, as well as it was one other game. I'm, hold on, let me look it up right quick. Far Cry Five. That's what it was. Oh man, Far Cry Five is coming out, huh? That yep. one. Uh, it does look interesting. I do want to. I, I do kind of want to check it out. I just don't want to, but it's just like, there, there's a part of me that is also like trying to remember like the other times I did try to mess around with like the other Far Cry's uh, or like the other Ubisoft games. And it's just like, yeah, but we won't let you play if you don't make an account with us. And I'm just like, fuck you guys. Mm hmm. Well, it's not supposed to be on this one from what I understand. Well, well, well I mean, if they have a demo or something, I'll, I'll totally fucking check it I out. But really I, I don't trust it. them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think they would. And I don't trust them to be like, yeah, we don't have fucking like, uh, we're not trying to force you to do our like Ubisoft fucking service, and then it's like you log in. Oh, well, like we're totally making you fucking sign up for our Ubisoft service. Mm -hmm. And then you take her right back saying, fuck you. <laughs> yep. I'll send it ship back to like France or wherever the hell it's from. The only, <laughs> the only one that I'm probably even really gonna look at would probably be Far Cry 5. Just because. Do the Far Cry games have multiplayer? They have co op. Or did. Yeah. Three, three had, three had this multiplayer thing that was not that good, but, mm. but to to Far Cry Three's uh, benefit, Far Cry One and Two didn't have that, so they were expanding. They were being ambitious with Far Cry Three, so mm -hmm. so of course, needless to say, it wasn't all that it wasn't all that great, but to its benefit. It wasn't supposed to be great to step in the future. Mm hmm Yeah, so, eh, we'll see on that one. Far Cry 4 uh, had co-op. Far Cry 4, I think you could play the entire game in co-op. Yeah, you could. Mm -hmm. Far Cry 5 definitely has co-op. Mm. And dogs. Mm. Oh, shit. We Call of Duty boys now. <laughs> <laughs> and dogs. <art. laughs> mm-hmm. I still remember that year when they was like, yeah, we got this dog, man. We put all this effort into this dog. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, it's new in the game. We got a dog, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not see the dog? <laughs> uh, hmm. So you're just uh, not going to ask me? Fuck you. <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> I disagree <laughs> with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree with you. Drama, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why I'm quitting the podcast. <laughs> Man, look at that drama. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're going to get so many views. <laughs> I'm just sitting, no, but, sitting uh, here salivating at the goddamn uh, mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What's going to happen yes. next? <laughs> yes, this is what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, honestly, what, what was your opinion? Like, uh, well, because like uh, there is a game I am looking forward to that I believe comes out this month with it, which is a uh, Kirby Star Allies. Mm, yes, it does. I, have, I am fucking looking forward to that game. Mm. It's lit. Yep, because like they're bringing back the freaking power mixing uh, ability from like Kirby sixty four. Mm. Nice. I mean, yeah. what else needs to be said? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this week, this month, this it's got some oh, pretty good, good titles coming out. Uh, next month is probably gonna be pretty a lot drier though. Oh yeah, fucking. Well, because the thing is that it's just like the stuff that happened in January this year. It mm. was like so out of the norm that it, like you're really. I feel like you're really gonna feel the dry spell this time around. Oh yeah, absolutely. Hmm. But no, uh, like the, the go ahead. one big one, very, very hype as motherfuck game that's coming out next month is Yakuza Six. Is it? Yeah, Yakuza, Yakuza Six is releasing next month, and that shit is going to be great. Hmm. Nice. Nice. Hmm. I know the um, God of War is also so. That's at least two games then. I know you were talking about this month, but Yakuza 6 needs to be spread. I like it. Well, you know, we could just do a podcast next month. Yeah, we could. <laughs> but people would know about it then. <laughs> Isn't that the point? 
<laughs> Drama. Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> Drama points. <laughs> you know, that's pretty much it for this month as far as gaming goes. Yep. So now we can go into our side stories. And breaking news. Fortnite's going to be on mobile, and it's also going to be able to cross-platform between PS4 and PC. Thoughts? Fortnite. Wait, 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 wait. Fortnite already does hey, cross-platform. Uh, she's wait, awake! Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you say it's going to be on mobile. It's yeah. going to be on mobile. Yeah, they're, they're, working with, they're working with everyone to get Fortnite oh. Battle Royale on mobile. This is not, oh, a, no. this is not a drill. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. The yes. positive on this, Raz, the positive on this is that when we play Fortnite, now we won't be the scrubbiest players. <laughs> something yes. something mm -hmm. I did something I did want to add was that uh Fortnite Battle Royale had already had cross platform between all three Xbox One, PS4 and PC, but then when when uh Microsoft so, to found out about it. They were just like, "No, you cut that shit out right goddamn now." No, yeah, apparently, because like, uh, if it's not one, it's the other. The, if like, if it's not Microsoft that has like its head up its ass about like keeping the the shit separate, mm -hmm. then it's Sony. Like, mm -hmm. I, I I've seen that like happen a lot of times. Whenever like I bring up the possibility of like, uh, one game doing something like cross platform. Mm -hmm. Uh, like it's if it's like outside I'm, I'm talking to jazz I'm talking to my brother I'm talking to someone uh, I say like I, I wish they would do that then like they'll just turn around and say nah man these like X company is like a fucking douchebag when it comes to working together with like the other company so like you'll never you'll never see cross platform mm -hmm. they, that's sure. because they keep trying to work on it at times it, excuse me it, they're trying, Lovely. they're trying no. to work on that. <laughs> they're trying to do that stuff whenever one was like beating the shit out of the other in sales because mm. during the ps360 era sony sony was just like yeah man i'd be totally open to the idea of doing cross-platform with the xbox because it would help sales across both fucking boards mm. but you know because cocky ass microsoft at the time of course were like yeah we're winning the console war so yeah you can suck our dicks we're not we're not doing that you can like we know we know what you're doing and we don't like it so we're not going to support it mm -hmm. come to the x the x boner ps4 era there came there was fortnite where which they did it by accident it was a complete accident <laughs> bringing in the retro insults <laughs> and then mm -hmm. uh there was the whole thing with fortnite battle royale and they're just like yeah yeah we would love to do we would love to do that. Microsoft's just like, cut that shit out. No, never again. Mm hmm <laughs> Or, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I have that story, right? Sony Sony was just like, okay, whatever. And Microsoft's just like, get those... Uh, uh, I was going to say queers, but it's probably not the best word. Hey, Tyler, 2018, what's up, man. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to go for snakes on a plane. I thought you were, too. <laughs> Regard regardless of which state, Microsoft was just like, no, <laughs> no, yeah, and they were they were not having that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's that. That's part of the long lasting history between the two when it comes to cross platform gaming. Mm hmm. Yeah, I thought I'd just bring up that breaking news. No, now does anyone else have something before I go on my next one? For what? Mm. Side stories. Oh. Here's a side story uh, for you. I have an interview at the Gap this coming Thursday. Hope I get it. Hey. We hope you do too. Best of luck to you. Thank you. I hope the most. <laughs> <laughs> so you can finally uh, give up that excuse of I don't have a job. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. Bitch, you think it's an excuse? Let's <laughs> <laughs> make it nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will pump up these drama views like a motherfucker. Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> Someone that doesn't have a job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's just salivating. Mm. Who is in <laughs> Like, I'll love it in this corner just as much. <laughs> you piece of garbage. Like, how dare you? How dare you open, how dare you open your mouth to say some shit like that? I mean, you have been listening to the last five episodes, haven't you? I've been here for the last five episodes. 
<laughs> there, well, there you go. I didn't know why you're surprised. <laughs> Moosey is involved into Phantom. No. <laughs> 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 it's required by law to burn Eddie at least once. <laughs> I feel as though if you don't have a job with me, how can you talk about me not having a job when you yourself... Have you ever worked before, Moopsy? Yeah, I left you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no side story for you, Moops. Uh, I mean, like, what can I say? The the most most of the stuff I'm waiting, I'm hoping for is just like um, updates to like uh, to the games uh, I've I've been playing. You know, I can't wait for the updates for the freaking Monster Hunter. To when they introduced the new monsters, Alatrion was honestly like a big fucking surprise for me, uh, and a dreadful one. Um, mm. Like, I think Falk is the next character that's gonna be in Street Fighter Five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's like uh, I'm I'm in, I'm interested to see what she's gonna bring to the table, cause like fucking, I mean, because because no, not very many people were hype about Blanca. Obviously, like the game is like it's in a, a bit of a dry spell. Mm -hmm. Not like not like some of the other shit we've seen in the past before, but it's just kind of like, uh, well, I mean that plus it doesn't help that like freaking uh, Dragon Ball and Monster Hunter World came out, so of course it's just like bringing out Blanca. That's not gonna fucking cause any waves. Mm hmm. But I know Falk will, so that's definitely interesting. Uh, what else? And of course, I've been bitching and moaning to Jazz about when fucking Broly's coming out. When Broly? When's Broly? Because, shit, man, when is he? Well, if I could tell you, I probably still wouldn't tell you. But. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, for the course. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just reaching. <laughs> it's like I've been all this podcast. Yeah, talk no. about, that, talk about <laughs> that fucking reaching, son. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, yeah, like that's like the biggest thing I'm doing, and of course I'm hoping that like I don't fucking fail my classes, cause shit. Word. <laughs> I would fucking spiral into depression, honestly. Word. Nah, don't spiral into depression, mm. man. I did that. <laughs> I had it once before. <laughs> All right, Roz, our special guest. What about you? Uh, I don't really, I don't really have anything. The only thing I heard today is that that one chick that was like, you know, that one chick that catch me outside. How about that chick? Mm -hmm. She's going on tour. I've heard that what news before. I have is? no idea what she can fucking bring to it, any it table. She, they me say that so she much. sings. She makes like her music, like singing or whatever. Like my friend just told me that like a few minutes ago. Nah, I almost, I almost died. It, what kind I, of reaction is ill, brother? It disgusts me so much. I became British. Cause it's like fucking, isn't it just like lip syncing or some shit like that? Probably. She she, sing, she has like five songs and that's like it and it's like 60 bucks. Probably auto-tuned or something. Oh, uh, man. It was the most disappointing thing I've ever heard in my life. Yes. Hey, yeah. Or you can tr turn it around. If she can do it, Razzle will fucking win like Grammys and shit. Yeah, I better become like a millionaire. Like... Tyler, yeah. Tyler, Tyler, get the fuck you. out of here. <laughs> Tyler, I appreciate you, bro. You bringing the drama, drama views in, bro. Her music is great. Oh, let's I go. Totally fight you. Let's I go. Will, let's I will go. fight you through the internet. <laughs> I will Liam Neeson that ass. It is now my turn to celebrate at the mouth. Yes. Oh, my God. She is the worst thing ever. Ever. Why? I don't, I, don't, just laugh really hard I, don't, I don't know about that, man. I don't know about the worst. There's... It's not the worst mm -hmm. ever, but it's mm -hmm. it's up there with bad. It's down there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just team killed someone in Siege. You know what the sad thing is? I was about to say, oh, yeah, Dave, someone else. And I thought like five different people as soon as I said it in my mind. It's like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Better I don't ask. <laughs> you know? Now that I have that in my brain. And hey, uh, Raz brought some drama. 
Yes, she did. You're welcome. And now I'm stuck for life. Also, now now Jess is gonna go into the depression. Also, her name is Danielle Danielle Brigoli too. Broccoli. Yeah, I knew it was like Danielle or something. I didn't know what her last name was. I don't care if her name is Fuckface Von Clownstick. I don't care. I will go see that. No, but but see, <laughs> to see what I'm about to add some more drama views because I'm about to I'm about to drop some bombs on you guys. Okay, so get this right. You know she got she went on Doctor Phil. She she went on Doctor Phil and started acting like a coon and shit. Right, it, mm-hmm. it she did that. But but after that, like the whole catch me outside. How about that shit? It kind of got her famous. But now, she, but she finessed the she finessed the shit out of the system. Now she's just like, yo, now I'm making music. But I've most uh, more 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 importantly than anything, like she's taking care of her mom really well now. Like she finessed it. So, but I, like honestly, I just that's, saw a video where she just the, cussed her mom out. I know that's all. That's all. The thing finesse. is though, that is that's all like. The thing is though, there is just like she's not the only one to go like fucking uh you know oh I'm I I got caught on camera doing something fucking stupid and then I started making music. She's not the first one to do that. Yep. Hmm. Won't be the last either. Oh nope, for sure. Definitely not. As far as <laughs> At I Jake Paul. Oh God, why would you do that to us? <laughs> now we're going to get demonetized and banned on YouTube. <laughs> Raz, he's gonna fill our be corpses. Be better. <laughs> Raz, be. Better. You have to respect me. Oh, no, we have to. Why? Oh, why? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> she did it, damn it. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm... So, so Moops is over here not respecting women. Yo, exactly. put his bitch ass back in the chair. Man, hey, she about to roast your ass. <laughs> Welcome to the club, Eddie. <laughs> what yeah. you mean, son? I've been, I have been respecting women since 1992, player. <laughs> Hey. She also played her mom's Marcus. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's just mm-hmm. Tyler mm-hmm. understands. At least, at least we can see the good in people, unlike these non women respecting ass motherfuckers. Hey, don't here. put me in with Moopsy. Nah, that nigga on his own. <laughs> I don't know him. <laughs> I don't know, Jess. What about that time you weren't respecting women? Ah oh, man, we don't talk about that. That was a long time ago. <laughs> Bitch, that was man. you. That was last week. I am a different person now. I've been rehabilitated. I've been respecting women 24-7. When I wake up, it just happens. Why not 24-8? Hey, there's not that many hours in the day. <laughs> Raz, can you or maybe you just don't respect women enough to try and find a new one. I don't know. <laughs> Damn it's it. Ridiculous. I can't. This like cannot that. be happening. <laughs> I trained I, my whole life for this. I can't believe. I can't believe I called these dudes my bros and they're not I respecting. Know, man. They're not oh. respecting women, man. That is. Shut up, Eddie. You don't have a job. Neither do you, you wow. Get out of here. <laughs> Go Boom. sit down and be humble somewhere. <laughs> I'm just here with my job, acting women. <laughs> you're, just here, you're just here so you don't get fined, bro. That's all. Hey, right. I'm going to get and reported. <laughs> Too many drama views. Not enough drama <laughs> views. What? Never enough. I <laughs> need more. Oh. <laughs> Machine needs more. You know, the only other thing I had was, um... Like, I was going to be, like, a fun question thing. Like, when it comes to, like, created characters and stuff like that, what is something you always do with that character? And why? Fat ass. Word. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> <laughs> need, I, need I say more, gentlemen? Need I say more? I think not. <laughs> well played. Moopsie, <laughs> your turn. <laughs> I mean, he stole my answer. <laughs> nope, nope, can't do that now. <laughs> now you gotta beat it, come on. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, my characters always respect women. Wow, That's but good. he doesn't even That's respect shit. He doesn't even respect <laughs> women in <laughs> real life. Yo, he can only respect <laughs> women virtually. What kind of asshole are you? No, that's some good shit. <laughs> that is an art I have not yet mastered yet. Very good, Lucy. Yo. <laughs> 2D mm. women respecting? Oh my god. Damn, I, I can't beat that, man. <laughs> 
can't He's stop. He's got me cornered. <laughs> can't stop, won't stop. What the women are expecting, man. <laughs> Oh, I can't, I can't beat that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, uh, Ross, do you play uh, those kind of games or no? Just no, Ross no, not really. I Fair just kind of play mm -hmm. music, not uh, games, but good music and stuff like that. That is so, a like, wonderful way to play games. Yeah, See? man. <laughs> that is how you respect women. Yeah. Learn people. <laughs> <laughs> Take notes. Two <laughs> D. No, the um, you've seen my the creation stuff, uh, Eddie. You uh, know for a fact that I like the dark goth chick thing. <laughs> Your big titty goth GF, bro. <laughs> yeah, man, <laughs> goth titty, big titties for days. <laughs> now, if I always have the option to, depending on the game, mm -hmm. I would always give my character. Sorry, something happened to Siege that scared me. Made my butt cheeks glitch. I, some, I would always uh, give my Half character one red ass. eye. <laughs> one red eye for some weird reason. I don't know why. I made you like that. Oh, what a weeb. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. I, you know what? I, I understand and also respect, sucking nerds, your opinion. Believe it. Hmm. <laughs> 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 yes. This is good. But, Bootsy, on a serious note, do you have anything? <laughs> uh, for, like, uh, what kind of guys is, like, I make in character creation? Yes. I mean, like, it, it, it does sort of usually depend on the game, but, uh, I mean, for the most part, generally, I tend to go for, uh, it's kind of like, I guess the worst way to put it would be kind of like if it was a multiverse situation where it's just like, you know, what would the me of this universe be like? And it's usually like the most non-human thing I can find. Mm. That's interesting. Wham. Mm. <laughs> I mean, mm. they all respect Whammon too. Damn, there you go. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn slut. Respecting him. <laughs> 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 <That's> right. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah that's pretty much uh, all I had there's those two things so if there's nothing else I think we're gonna call it well yeah. I think so hey. I can't think of anything alright so yeah, it's time know. for the plugging of the channels let's start off with Eddie ah cause I'm the best at it right yeah. No, because you're the black one. You're black too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, so I'm not. Whoa. What the, what the Actually, fuck? Actually, Raz, like, I'm Raz. the only non black person here. Oh, gosh, Raz, you're, you're the minority here. <laughs> yeah. I'm a token Mexican. Why would you go after me when we have a whole ass Mexican right here? <laughs> what the hell is your problem? I love he doesn't want to go after the. <laughs> Me off guard. <laughs> you don't go after the Mexican first because it's racist. Exactly. You know the black person always dies in the horror movie first. This isn't a horror movie. This is a podcast. <laughs> Your logic is 150% flawed. Sounds sound to me. Hey, I got one person. I'm <laughs> and he respects one. So. <laughs> oh, that is true. <laughs> yeah, assholes will not make me look like a bad person for using logic. Right? <laughs> I mean, we've been doing pretty good so far. Not true. Watch Anaconda. Anaconda does not count. That was a, a travesty that needs to burn in the fiery pits of hell. <laughs> hey, Jess, want to watch Anaconda? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you the audience, both of you. <laughs> All right, Eddie. Check us out. All right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this will do. This will complete episode five of the No Name podcast. We don't need names. We respect the women of this bitch. Hey. I have been your lovely host, Eddie. I've also been joined by Cosma Jazz, Monsieur Moopsy. We. I'm going to impress him. Impress him. Impress I mean, it was right there. I was like, please take that. 
<laughs> Silver platter, man. <laughs> we like to appreciate. We appreciate everyone for watching. I hope you guys had a good time. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about us. We will see you guys next time. Word. <laughs>